internet. It is Thursday the 8th of June 2017. I am taking a domestic flight from Nandi to Savu Savu where I'll be staying at the Navaria Lodge. Four days and three nights. I've already explained how I messed this up and had to take a local hotel here. I was going to be staying five days, four nights. Unfortunately, things have changed. No. Only about an hour flight to Savu Savu. Should be over water too, should be quite a scenic flight. Wow, this is a small plane. It's lucky this is only an hour flight because uh, I'm way too big for the seat. This is smaller than a Virgin flight. I'll have taken underneath the seat and a safety car in front of you. Please do take time to go through it. Thank you for flying with us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Nice to meet you. And you. This is the Navaria Lodge. I've been saying it wrong. I've been saying Navi Navari. What have I been saying? I can't remember what I've been saying, but I've been saying it wrong. You've just met Sharon. This is her place, the Navaria Lodge. It's a little bit rainy at the moment. Unfortunately, I'll just open this. The view isn't going to be as terrific as it could be but still stunning. And this is gonna be a slightly different experience than what I've just had on the Navutu Stars. This is more of a adventure lodge. So we're gonna take some tubing, water rafting, horse riding. This is a very uh, hilly jungle area. Nav area, I've been told, translates from Fiji into Tangled Jungle. So let's get into the Tangled Jungle. A welcome beverage upon arrival here, passion fruit juice. You have to see this view out here. This is incredible. Even in the cloudy, rainy, it's stunning. Wow. Look at this. When this clears up and the sun comes out, that is gonna look incredible. Look at this beautiful pool there, just for a quick dip. Have a look at the detail of, of this balcony. The view is great. And then the balcony just curves itself around. Nice for chilling. Certainly a beautiful part of Fiji. Very, very lucky to be here. Despite the weather, it doesn't make a difference. It's still gonna be great. So I mentioned before, we're gonna be doing some adventures and some different exciting activities. Sharon has some guests that are already booked in for some. Well, how about we let Sharon explain what it is, Sharon? So we're going to go river tubing. We're going on the Nakawanga River, which uh, in Fiji, Nakawanga is Thank You Boat River. We've got the tubes in the back of the truck. We're going to be driving for about half an hour, pick the guests up first in town, drive out. I'll give a brief um, on how to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is going to be an exciting day already. Through the village and you can scream out to somebody, anybody can drive the truck. What's happened now is that we need, obviously, to have a drop-off car and then you need to have the car go back down to the end where you're going to be. The reason I'm standing in the, in the back of Sharon's truck is because well we need to get a local from the village here to, to help drive this truck back to the end you found someone to drive yeah yeah, yeah. hello Ula. Mark's going to explain a little bit about this river and how it is. Is this an important river? Yeah, it's yeah. an important river that goes direct around the village. I think this is a, uh, what do you call it, a Galitu river. <laughs> Pretty nice to be just lazily winding down this river. Woo! We just need some sun and we'll be laughing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing up this truck. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Everybody gets fed as part of this deal here. This is a uh, chicken roti. So this is a traditional Indian lunch where, as you can see, it's wrapped up in newspaper. So we have a little bit of readage. Is that a word? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it's like a tortilla sort of wrap. Kanavanaka. Mmm. This is delicious, Sharon. <laughs> Naka? Mm-hmm. Very peaceful. Just drift along, let the current take you where it will.
And this is where the river tubing ride finishes, which is kind of funny. Well, not funny, it's ironic, or it's not even ironic, it's just notable. Right where we are right here is where we stopped to find the local guy that was gonna drive the uh, truck back. Literally, we stopped right there and we found the local guy. Perfect, man. Awesome, thank you. Banaka. <laughs> Banaka. So good, man. Yeah. What a rad village, man. This kid's gonna be a rock star. He just uh, listen on the phone or yeah, phone. Yeah. Just listen on the phone, then practice. This man just says to me that this boy listened on his telephone to this song and then played it like this. It's incredible, man. This is <laughs> this is really incredible. There's all kinds of strange things in Fiji. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's so cool. Uh, that's so cool. I don't know why this is really ent entertaining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a naturally occurring hot pool. Has it got a name? Uh, no. no. No name, it's just a naturally occurring hot pool in Fiji. Oh man, this is bizarre. It's like um 
I feel like I'm in a place where it should should be cold water, not yeah. hot water. This is very, very unusual to be. <laughs> oh, there's a real hot spot. The best mud to get is over here. This is just gorgeous, silky mud. <laughs> Why is this better mud? Well, this is all organic as you can get, and the actual mineral content of this, I have no idea. What we do is to just take it and then. <clears throat> I mean, I've been coming here for. Mm, maybe five years now four or five years and it's great for my skin I mean I'm 79 so. <laughs> as if the tubing and the hot springs wasn't enough activity for the day the next activity we're gonna go on is driving up Sharon's driveway you have got some driveway there, Sharon. I do, and I'm just wondering whether my um, sarong is tied on properly because uh, we've just been at the hot pool and <laughs> I've taken my bikini off. Oh, hello. So, <laughs> so I'm just contemplating whether I have to retie before. I'm praying for lots of bumps and no retie. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Awesome. Can we go back and do it again? Yeah, in reverse. <laughs> this is not what guests have to do to drive in here. This is this. I wasn't exaggerating that at all. That was just the pure <laughs> bounce and joy of the, the trip. It wasn't me doing that with the camera. Well, that has been a very exciting and adventurous day here at the Navaria Lodge. It's a little bit more exciting and adventurous up in the jungles of Savu Savu. Sharon's a great host. She's got a fantastic place here. You've seen these bats flying through as the sun was going down. It wasn't a great sunset, but that's because of the clouds. But we did see some bats. Sharon's just told me she has her own pet fruit bat out the back. I'm dead set keen to go and have a look at this. Let's go and check it out. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. I'm always running out of time on my vlog. Hey, if you like that content, please do me a solid and subscribe here. Check out the previous vlog here and check out a random vlog here. And if you like doing the snappity snappity clickety clack, that's photography. You might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets here. Does that mean 20 seconds?